Hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how I did this card. There's a couple of different techniques in here so you might want to stick around till the end of the video. But I've got a technique to show you on how I stamp the image and then some sponging on the back of the designer paper. And then one of my favorite techniques is this one here where I actually dyed the ribbon. I'll show you a quick and easy way to do that. So to get started, I'm going to just let you know I used a piece of Mossy Meadow as my card base. It was eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and folded in half. And then this is a piece of the Designer Series paper in the In Colors collection. And my uh, the paper is four by five and a quarter. And then the rest of the products in there. So what I used was the Thankful Forest Friends stamp set. And I actually used this stamp here. To, to do that multicolored image, but you could also use this stamp. You could use lots of stamps. There's lots of stamps in um, that would work. Almost any stamp would work with this technique. So Okay, so let's get started. To begin with, I took a... This is actually a dry baby wipe. and It's only dry because I left the container open, but this works great for this technique. But you can also use um, a piece of felt, which I've I've heard I've used before and it's worked great. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay down that that dry baby wipe and I'm going to take a little of the basic black ink and my stamp. I'm going to use this one today. Ink that up and I'm going to stamp that down on the baby wipe. And if you want to, you can take a pencil or marker or something and just kind of trace out where that stamp just going to give you a guide for when you Go to put the stamp down. It's not very good, but you'll be able to see it. You can just see a little bit around there, just so that I know exactly where I'm going to go ahead and place that stamp after I've inked this up. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this. Okay, now that that's clean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of refill bottles, and today I'm using uh, Tangelo Twist, Blackberry Bliss, Mossy Meadow, and Hello Honey. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually just going to put ink onto my project for that image where I want that color to come through on my image. I hope that makes sense. So I'll just put a little bit of Hello Honey and then on that stem I'm going to go ahead and use the Mossy Meadow I think I'll do it down here too. So I'm just actually just putting some ink on places that I would want on that image. Now you could do this technique, if you're just doing a card or two, you could do this technique with markers on the back of your rubber stamp, just coloring with markers, but this is a way to do it so that you can make um, a lot of images, actually. And I'm going to go in with my oh, Tangelo Twist, and I actually put a lot of Tangelo Twist into this one. And then on the words, I'm actually using the Blackberry Bliss. It looks like I have one more leaf to color too. I want to make sure that that one gets color into it. Um, let's do yellow, I guess. No, let's do a green one. <laughs> I shouldn't be so indecisive. There we go. So once that's ready to go, that's your ink pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in with some Whisper White paper here, hopefully, that I've got sitting here. And my stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and you're just going to kind of make sure that you line your stamp up back into that square where it was. You want to push it down a few times. The first few images don't look so great, but after that, they look. you're just going to be shocked. So I think this one's going to actually look okay. But you can see how you can get that image with all those fun colors and you can do lots. I'm not kidding. I've done like, um, depending on how many times I pressed, I could do 25 images with the different colors. But just a really fun way to get a lot of color onto a stamp and it works with lots of different stamps. So go ahead and try that. And then I used the two and the two and a half inch circle punch um, and just lined it up, punched it out, and there was my image. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside because that ink does come through the other side. You might want to put maybe a plastic plate or something on. But this, honestly, this ink pad is going to be good for about 20 more um, images stamped. 
at least. And then you can just always add more ink to it. So there's my image, my circle image. And then for the background paper, on some of the, uh, some of the cards that I did, I used um, just a piece of background paper, but I didn't really care for that bold, bold stripe. And so what I did is I'm going to come in with the Mossy Meadow ink and a sponge, and I just took one of our sponges and cut it in quarters, and then just sponge on some ink to just tone down that Mossy Meadow. It just, just kind of tones it down a little bit so it's not so bold. Um, I just like this look for, um, for this particular card. And I've actually found myself lately toning down lots of the designer series paper. Um, it's kind of fun to be able to add color. The other thing you so can I've do... So I've decided on this particular card. I'm going to go ahead and use this ribbon, but I want to make it um, actually tangible twist. And we're going to see if this works. So I'm going to add a little rubbing alcohol to one of our spritzers. That's probably enough. I got about a half a jar in there. And then I'm going to take the Tangelo Twist Reinker. And I put 14 drops in there. I don't know why I picked 14, but I think that'll be good enough. And then add the lid. And then instead of shaking it, I'm just going to go ahead and spin it in my hands. So that will mix up with that uh, rubbing alcohol. And the reason that I use rubbing alcohol, just to let, so that you know, I use rubbing alcohol because it dries quickly. It makes a great transporter for the, that re refill ink to get to the ribbon, but then as soon as it hits it, it dries very, fairly quickly. That's why I use rubbing alcohol. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a piece of paper down. I'm gonna move all my stuff out of the way so I don't end up with Tangelo twists everywhere. And I'm gonna flip this over get that started. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so there's just one way you can dye your ribbon. So you could take any ribbons that we have and make them the color that you want. How pretty is that? Um, if you want to, you could spray the back, but this is going to be the, for the front of my card, but you'll see how quickly that rubbing alcohol is drying, and that's, that's why I used it. Okay, I hit that with a heat gun, and then I'm going to just come back and I will attach this piece to my card base, which happens to be Mossy Meadow. And I cut a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, scored it at four and a quarter, folded it. That's your basic card base. I'm going to add some adhesive here. And actually, I'm just going to kind of throw this down kind of randomly. And then add a little bit more texture. I'm going to come in with some of our. Um, striped cotton ribbon and just snip off some of that and that too is just going to kind of get placed randomly. I've noticed lately a real trend in cards just having snippets of of ribbons and lace and all kinds of stuff and then add on my stamped image with a couple of dimensionals. And there you have it. There's the card that uh, I sent out as my thank you for October. But I wanted to show this technique, and I also wanted to give you a little idea about the sponging and also the spraying of the ribbon. So lots of little techniques in this. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you haven't already done so, you may want to sign up for my newsletter, which I send out each week, where I give tips, tricks, and techniques each week for things to use in Stampin' Up! products. So thanks, and I hope you have a great day.